I'm going to create a simple bar chart that compares human-caused wildfires to natural-caused wildfires. The first thing I need to do is click on the panel number where I want my bar chart to go. From there, I can see that there's a chart option, but also an infographic option. I prefer the infographic widget over the chart widget because there's more options and they don't require the user to run a chart each time they want to view it. Once selected, a wide range of options appears. I will choose the column chart and then select my wildfires feature layer. From here, you can see that there are three portions of the chart that can be configured, a title, the chart itself, and a description. If we don't want a description, we can uncheck the description symbol. I'm also going to uncheck the use selection option because we don't actually have a select widget configured. When I click on the title panel, the options appear on the right hand side. I will change the text to wildfire count and the size to 22. When I click into the chart area, there are multiple options that appear on the right hand side. We could display values by category, which would allow us to see acreage burned by cause, but we just want to see the count of wildfires by cause for this example, so we're going to choose to display feature counts by category. Next, we will choose cause from the category field dropdown. We'll leave the sort by label and the maximum categories blank for now. When I click on the display tab, the controls for chart colors and fonts appears. I'm going to change the chart color to something that more psychologically re represents wildfires. And then I'm going to change the vertical axis label to count and the horizontal axis label to cause. The marks tab allows us to show threshold values if we have any, such as adding a line for every 1,000 wildfires counted. We also have the option of changing the label of the line, the color of the label, and the color of the line. Now that we've chosen our chart, we can see that the filter by extent option has become available. I'm actually going to check this option because it allows the chart to dynamically count based on what's shown in the map view as the user navigates to locations of interest. When I click OK, I can see that there's another category of undetermined cause in the chart, but I don't want to see this. So I'm going to click to edit my chart, and I'm going to choose two as the maximum category shown. Now that my chart is configured the way I want it, I'd like to see wildfire information around Redding, California. When I hover over the bars in my chart, I can see the count value as well as the highlighted wildfire points in the map area associated with that category. Let's say I want to view more information about this one human-caused wildfire that's highlighted in the lower left of the map view. I can click on that wildfire point and the pop-up information appears. We hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please like our video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for up-to-date content.